How is everybody this week? Have we all got our national sites built with our major city sites or our state sites with our major city sites created in the last two weeks? <laughs> You've changed your name at last, pal. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Well done, pal. <laughs> You're right, Bruce. I don't think Tim Tim Judge will be on tonight. I reckon he'll be on the, on the beer, but if he's not, congratulations. He's in order. If he's on at all, if he's not, congratulations when you listen to the replay, mate. <clears throat> okay, guys, so you can hear me perfectly, can you? I can see the room starting to fill up now. We had a bit of a quiet crowd last week. I'm hoping to... Uh... Hey, is that... <laughs> congratulations. I think it's Tim Judge. That might be Tim Park. We, we normally get both of you on each week. but <laughs> uh, Congratulations, mate. Right, everyone can hear me. You can probably hear me swinging around in my squeaky chair while we're just letting the room fill up a little bit. Um, this week, I'm going to run through uh, single niche PBNs. I'm going to take you through basically... It's a different Tim. <laughs> no way. Congratulations to you as well. <laughs> for being on here. Yeah, too many Tims in the world. <clears throat> or not enough. <laughs> you could say. Anyway, I'm going to go through this week, guys. I'm going to take you through uh, building single niche PBNs. Now these are PBNs that you can use for your for ranking your proper sites. So 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 they're not spammy crappy links. Oh, they kind of are spammy crappy links, but you're bringing them in from expired domains or from new domains, and they're really really good for ranking. We've been getting some great results just using the fourth tier linking structure, which we're going to go through next week. But I'll take I'll take you all through this today. I'll explain the linking structure to you a little bit more, and then we'll do some Q and A and stuff like that. I'm just going to wait till we've been on about three or four minutes just to let the room continue to fill up. Uh, there's quite a few people been contacting me this week from some stuff from the past webinar. So if you hang about to the end as well and ask questions, I can go through absolutely anything that you want. Okay, guys, um, not sure we're going to get that many more on today, so I'm going to upload the presentation. Can everybody see my screen? What's that, Mike? What are you saying? How many time? How many tiers? Ah, right. Um, most SEOs only do the three tiers. Um, most SEOs will only do three tiers. Um, what I'm going to go through you guys over the next few weeks is, <laughs> I don't know which Tim that is as I'm here, but <laughs> I think we've got the other one on now. The one we're just saying congratulations to. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, Mike. Um, basically, we, we, most SEOs only use three, three tiers. Um, what I'm going to show you over the next couple of weeks after this week now is going to go through a five tier phase. If you do what I'm going, what I'm showing you to do, and you create these the way I'm going to show you, I'm, um, I'm, I'm going to basically show you exactly how you can dominate um, a niche very, very easily with not trying to do a crazy amount more other than your backlinking and stuff. But, but a lot of people are saying links are dead and links don't work and, and they're talking absolute crap. Um, I know for a fact, I mean, I've been doing some, some lots and lots of research with, with backlinks and, and always will be. There are a lot of other factors involved nowadays, but uh, linking is not dead. Uh, the more relevant and the more diverse, the better. And if you've got multi tiers, then it's kind of like, um, it's, it's kind of like sleeping on a sheet or, or a quilt. Um, if, if you throw down four quilts before you get on the bed, it's, it's much, much softer. It's much harder to, to hurt yourself. And that's basically what it is. The further down the tiers you go, the better and the better results you're going to get. Um, and it's just going to last a lot more long term. Right, guys, I can see everyone's getting really, really busy. So I'm going to jump forward. Single these PBNs. Um, I'll get started. Um, any questions, throw them up. If I don't answer them straight away, we'll jump on. Uh, a bit fruit, further through. In the last two weeks, I'm going to go through what I've gone through in the last two weeks. So this is what people should have learned from the last two weeks. And I will let you know as well what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to, after next week, I'm going to be cr creating a big, tr a proper training course, which is going to go through all the steps we've learned over the last 
<clears throat> four weeks and the following week after that. And I'm going to put them on, on a website. They're going to go up for sale so people can buy them. But any of my monthly subscribers or any of my members from, from MPP, Lead Simplify, any of them, I'm going to, you just get free access to that training course. I just do with, with most of the stuff that I release. You guys just get free access anyway. Okay, so in the last two weeks, we went through, first of all, building a national major city site. Now, it's not a major city site. It's a national major city site. So we only covered major cities. We did it UK-wide. So it was 120 locations. And we concentrated mainly on the internal linking structure. We made sure that Google had to take a few steps before it could get back to the homepage. If you remember, it was in the footer of about the third link in. And we created a menu at the bottom of the first page. And then every single page on the menu had the um, 10 links from the city shark codes, which then went onto the magic pages, which then linked back to the homepage. So it forced Google to go into your website quite a few steps and visit quite a few links. So it helps with the indexing. Um, yes, I do use Michael, use Michael Bowles' embed network because um, he's got, he's actually got 24, 25,000, I think it is from, from memory. Um, locksmith one on there, so I do use it for quite a lot of me, me, me locksmithing stuff. Um, tier five, I tend to pull them in tier four, tier five. Um, so this week we're on tier three. We've done the national site. We've built the um, major city site last week. And obviously I've shown you how to link them into the actual major cities on the sites with all the different types of keywords. This week, I'm going to show you how to create the PBN sites and link them into your major cities. Next week, we'll do the uh, Math by Minute Backlink Builder, where, where you're going to be building stuff for Amazon S3 and Google Drive, and then pointing them into your PBNs. And then the last week, that's when we're going to start in Embed Network, Money Robot. Um, there is a couple of others out there. They're the only two I really use. Pretty much the same thing, but Michael Bowles has got some that have got just so much, much more power than the ones that you get direct from Money Robot because you have to keep building and building and building them and, and sending traffic to them on a regular basis to get there. Michael Bowles is his embed network's pretty powerful for an embed network. <clears throat> okay, uh, last week we went through using short codes on all pages for Evergreen Site Model. No, nope, that was the week before last. Sorry, which we've done on the. Um, and then how to convert the website into a major city website. So we converted the national site into a major city website. I've got one of them to show you tonight, which we did last week. And what else did we do? How to point your backlinks into your national website, which if you remember, we did it via the footer link on that site. You can do that inside your content as well, but it's, it's important to <clears throat> make sure that the linking's very, very diverse, which I'm gonna go through in a little bit more depth to, tonight and show you a little bit. Got a few little tricks that I do as well. That I'm going to show you tonight that I actually use. So, how to turn it into an evergreen major city site, which means you can use one site um, multiple times, um, and you get the same results as you did if you was just putting it up the one time. And then there's a bit of a bonus. I think last week, I don't know how to how the central location is the anchor for the evergreen site. Jesus, we've done quite a bit, haven't we? Um, so basically, if anybody on doesn't understand what that is, if you change your central location to your website and you use short codes throughout the website, your site will automatically change everywhere to become a site for wherever you set the central location. So if you set it as Miami and you've got a five mile radius, your whole site, all your home, you're about all your internal pages and your magic pages and all the thousands of pages that it creates will all become Miami within a five mile radius pages. If you then remove that and you change it and you, and you turn it into, um, Let's, let's say, I don't, I'm trying to think of a city miles away from there now. Um, somewhere in Texas or <laughs> California, uh, Los Angeles, you change it to Los Angeles and then it'll become a Los Angeles website. And it's the same website that we spin all the content and everything so it'll become a fresh site. And then as a bonus, we went on how to create non mass page evergreen style websites. Now, if Magic Page Plugin, that was all it was there to do, you could use that to create um, templates of, of websites that you could show a customer and say, this is the template you get, this is what it looks like, this is the content, it covers within a five mile radius, do you want it, don't you? And the only thing you need to do for them is upload it to their server and change the central location and it's done. You've just sold on the site with everything done. It will respin itself fine all the way through. And you could you could sell those sites really, really easily to, to the trade industries. Okay, all replays are found on webinars.net. That's webinars with a Z.net. And then this week, I will take you through building your single niche PBM from scratch. Um, so I'm going to build a site from scratch. How to create dynamic backlinks into your major city sites. 
So we're going to go through why, obviously, you don't just put in a standard battle link that points to one keyword to one area. Uh, Valerie's just asked the question, for the city page site, are these different domains, subdomains, or the same root domain? I use different domains. Now, a PBN, some people say, oh, this is a lot of work. Once you've created a PBN as well, like we're going to build this week, you can use that same site multiple times. And if you buy expired domains, the way I'm going to show you how to tonight, you're getting backlinks from expired domains. Um, you 301 the, the old links back into the existing site. Then you do multiple backlinks from your PBN to your major city site. So it turns out it looks like that's the one same chairs, mate. Um, then it looks like uh, you, you get multiple high level backlinks for the cost of a, of a domain name. It's about six, seven quid if it's .co.uk, about a tenner if it's tenner a year if it's uh, .com. So it's actually a really, really cheap way of ranking your sites. If you went out buying those links and, and you started getting links on other people's websites, you're going to spend a hell of a lot more than that, maybe a tenner a month for a crap link. Yes, Val, I'll tell you what, I will do. Let me get to that point where we start doing the bat linking and I'll diagram the whole five tiers out for you tonight so you can take a screenshot of it. In fact, I can send you the image. Um, if you want, I'll post it on the group. After that, how all backlinks should go from and to the same location. Okay, because what, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to do relevancy. So if we're creating backlinks pointing from a, a Miami page, we want it going to a Miami page. We don't want to be creating backlinks going from some random page for some random site 50 odd miles away. Um, we want it going to the, to the same same location. Uh, where I get all my PBM content uh, and spin it in seconds. I've got two that I use for that, but I also have another little trick I do where I collect content for the domains that I buy. So I'll show you that as well. How to then use these PBNs as evergreen PBNs, which can be moved to any site and become unique and local. So if you build one decent PBN site, they don't even need to be decent, they can be crap. Um, PBN site, you clone it the way we did last week with the all-in-one WP and I'll show you how to do that tonight. Okay, share screen. That's my waffling stop, guys. I'm gonna share my screen now, and then I'm just gonna make sure you can see it. And we'll take it from there. I think it's that one. Let me shrink that so I can see your comments. I know what I'm doing with this now, I'm getting pretty good at it. Right, guys, can you just let me know you can see that? That's the Stockport Major City website that we created last week. Um, using the national site that we did the week before. So this is this is one of the major city sites for the UK that's gonna go into my national site. I just want to know that people can see that before I carry on. Yep, cool. Awesome. Okay then, um, first step of creating PBNs is getting domain names. Okay, so the domain name, I the sorry, the software I use uh, the site I use is in there, expireddomains.net. Um, and I'm going to go into that site now and show you exactly what I do. Okay, I'm already logged in. I've set up an account with these people because I'm building UK websites. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go after um, UK, uh, .co UK domains. So there's no point in me getting .coms and everything else because I'm going after .co.uk. Uh, Lulu, if you can't see everything, uh, just 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 leave and come back and, and it should refresh itself for you. I know that everyone else can see it or, or I've been told you can. Right, so basically if I'm going after .co.uk domains, I would come into here and I would find, they keep moving this around. Go down to .uk domains. Okay, can everybody see my screen? Okay, there's a few things to look at on here, and I've done this in previous videos, um, but I'm gonna show you, first of all, how you buy your domains. So when you're building a single niche PBN, I call them single niche PBNs, they don't necessarily have to be, um, like this is an auto locksmith site, what we're looking at, what we were looking at a minute ago, this one here. Okay, but they don't necessarily have to be auto locksmith websites. Okay, but they, they, you want them in the same industry. 
So you want something to do with the automotive industry. Okay, so, and, and, and the reason you wanna do that is because you wanna try and keep these things on there. So you wanna keep the relevance in there. And if you're going after an industry and you wanna take over that industry, you need to make things look as realistic as possible. There's no way a hairdresser will be creating a backlink to a an auto locksmith or a, a plumber or any of those websites. There's no way that um, an accountant would bother linking to you. So getting, getting the backlinks on them sites, Google's getting clever and clever and clever. It's just, it's not a complete waste of time, but your time can be spent better. If you're going after expired domains, then I would keep it inside your own industry. So the first thing I'd do if I was coming on here is I'd probably put something like CAS security, for example. That's, that wasn't security, was it? Okay, okay, and then, sorry, I didn't explain that then. So, so then the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna look at, um, th there's a few options here. Now, domain popularity, if you can see, also got total number of backlinks there via Majestic, but number of backlinks, right? So what you're gonna do is you wanna click that because you can see some of these have got 277, 248, 179, 177 different um, backlinks pointing to them from other domains, which means they've already got quite a bit of link to you. So when we pull these things in from, um, Via, via, when we 301 redirect, all, you're going to get all them backlink juice to this site, which is then going to be passed up to your um, major city website. And then what I like to do is I like to look for old ones. So you come down and you find something that's a little bit older. So let's say, right, that's not going to be any good because it's cardigan. Tell you what, guys, automotive. This will give us something a little bit more accurate. Okay, then we're going to click the DP to get the domain popularity at the top. And now don't worry if this number's low, it's not really that big a deal. But obviously, if you can get someone with quite a few backlinks on, that's pretty good. All right, let's have a look at some of these. So we've got like a automotive hire, automotive gallery. And as you can see, these have got three, but they're quite new ones. What you want to be looking for is things that have been quite old and they were last seen. Right, basically the ABY, sorry, I'm not explaining this very well because I'm thinking as well. Right, your birth year of the domain using the, when it's found in archive.org. Now this is gonna be really important for us a little bit later on because I'm gonna show you how to use this um, for, to your advantage. And then this one here shows you the birth year using the who is creation date as its birthday. So the last person that purchased the domain. So you can see that that one's been with the same person since 2010. That one was with somebody at Camel Automotive, was with somebody in 2002, but then re-registered in 2017. So this just gives you that little bit of information. Look, Automotive Tanks, that's been with the same person since 2003, and that's been released. So if that's not got a lot of backlinks, but it's an old domain, then you're probably looking at quite a, a decent domain name. So if you can buy that, that's probably quite a good one. For, for PBNs, Dave, I don't bother. You can use Ahrefs and stuff like that to go through and spend God knows how long figuring all that stuff out. And, and But to be totally honest with you, you don't necessarily need it. You're going to get some good and you're going to get some crap. Um, what I like to do is build them and not create the backlink straight away, um, which I, I did in the last video. And then what I do is I wait till the site gets indexed. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll index some backlinks to it or I will index one or two of the pages on the site. And then once I know Google picks it up and, it, and, and it's not a bad domain name because it's indexed a couple of pages, then I don't mind pointing the links in at my major sites. I'm still gonna show you how to do it right the way through tonight. But so what, what I, I don't tend to, to, to worry too much about stuff like that. It's, it's, it's gonna cost me six or seven quid for that domain name for the year. If it turns out to be a bad one. I could spend two hours looking at it and trying to figure out if it was a decent domain and all the rest of it. And, and to be totally honest, I'd rather spend seven quid and. <laughs> and find out it was crap than spend two hours searching through the domains and checking all the backlinks and everything else. So you're going to build a lot of these things. Okay, so you find a domain. Now, I've already created a site, 
over here. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy a domain and go through purchasing a domain with you guys, there's no point. But I'm gonna come back to this later. But I'm just explaining to you how how I choose my um my domain name. So if I was after plumbing industry, I could go into any household industry, I'd, I'd bring in different trades, stuff like that. Um, but I'd keep them on on industry, if you know what I mean, the type of businesses that would generally backlink to one another. You don't want to be going after things that would never backlink to you. Like, unless you can get something from like SeaWorld.org or something like that, which, which is going to give you a boost because it's a huge, massive charity. Um, and, and they tend to give the links because obviously you support the charity. Um, but other than that, I tend to stay on niche, try and stay on niche with these things. Okay, so basically, this was the site we created last week. Um, this is a major city website covering Stockport. If you all remember, we did a Stockport one and then we linked in from the magic pages back to one of them was to the, the, the Stockport page of the major of the national website. And the other one would have linked back into the home page of this site. So Locksmith Port would point you back into Stockport. So it's got backlinks pointing to the main website on it, coming in from the magic pages. So your internal linking structures pointing all sorts of different keywords back into the home page. Okay, this week I've got a brand spanking new site, never done nothing with. Um, in fact, it's been up before, but it's been taken down. And I'm just going to literally run through with you guys quickly how we'd set this up from scratch <clears throat> really, really quickly, where we get our content from, how we do the, the dynamic backlinking structure and how to link it back into the other side so that you're going to get decent results. So first thing I can do is just get, get started. All right, as you all know, I like um, using Elementor to build because you can build them really, really quick. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with this one tonight. Okay, guys, so the first thing we do is come down to the settings at the bottom. And we, oop, ignore me, we change it to Elementor Canvas. I'll publish that page. And inside here, I'm going to use Auto Locksmith Location. Okay, I'm going to turn this into a template, stick it on the home page, add some content, and then I'm going to, well, I'll show you. Okay, so the next thing it'd be is just to choose one of these, um, one of these templates. I'm sure there's one Vicari, yeah, that'll do us. Right, so let's insert that. Now, we'll probably pretend that we're using, um, one of these deleted domains and I'll show you why soon because I'll show you how I can collect the content for them. Okay, okay, that's a bit of an ugly looking thing, but let's say we put call to action up here, load of rubbish. It isn't crazy relevant as long as it's not Laura Mipson, you just want or you want to get the content for the industry. All right, get a quote that can that can link to nothing. We're not bothered about that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. I'm going to drag in text editor for our content section. Okay, so really really quickly, we want to build some spin spun content on here. In fact, the tool I use for spun content, I've actually. One second. Because I'm starting to learn how to use this now. <laughs> Can everyone see that? I've just posted to be rewriting on there. This is what I use for content, but I'm going to show you the trick first of all, where you can go and get your content. So if we come back over to the deleted domains, um, let's use the auto tank ones because it's quite an old one. What you do is you come to the ABY. Okay, so if we've been and bought that one, what we do is we come over to the ABY and we click on there. And then the Wayback Machine is going to open up. And what you're going to see is it's been up for all them years and it had a massive big gap where it wasn't used. Um, I've been chasing Tony again on them today, mate. He keeps telling me today and then I keep chasing him and he keeps telling me today. Um, I'm constantly chasing him on him every single day, mate. Um, I'm gonna speak to him again in the morning. I've got a chat with him booked in for the morning, so 
I'll, I'll, I'll chase up on them again tomorrow morning. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a copy of the old website. But what this is good for is, let me show you, grab that bit of content out of there. It's open CopyScape. It might log me out now, actually, so I'll just click premium again. Yeah, there we go. Right, paste content into there and click premium search. And what you're going to find is no results found. Okay, now this content used to be on this domain. So because this content used to be on this domain, you're safe to go and pop it back onto this domain. We're not using this domain, we're using a different domain. You're safe to go and stick it back onto this domain and publish it as a PBN style site with the content that's already known to Google from all those years ago when it was indexed. And then you can come through the, through the years and it doesn't matter if this content makes it makes any sense or uh, if it's decent content, because this is a PBN site. So what, what we do is we come in here and you don't necessarily have to spin everything on your PBNs, but you can. And what I like to do is drag in these underneath each other, because if you get a huge long content, it can come sometimes get a little bit messy. And then what you're going to do is go back over to the one that we were just on before. Let's jump forward. Now, we know this is an expired domain. And as long as it's not been the, the content's not been transferred somewhere else, you're OK. You might be better to spin it if you don't want anyone coming back saying that's about our business. But that's totally up to yourself. OK, so what we're going to do is you're going to go through and you're going to take content from the pages throughout the site. And you can take them off and spin them. But these are PBNs, so you're not bothered. Okay, I'm not going to carry on doing this with the content. Another way that I get my content from my PBNs is I go into Spin Rewriter, I click on Rewrite, and then click Fetch Article. So we're going on about auto. Sometimes takes a couple of minutes. Auto security systems and its types. Um, auto financing online. So if you're going after the loans industry or home allowances, it pays to be safe. That's got 843 words. So I'm going to grab that one because that's going to be quite a long one. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on, let me check a book. Okay, so what I tend to do is as you can see, I've got keys, locks, and all that rubbish saved because locks comes up as, this is different for different industries. Locks comes up as hair locks, uh, location, county, region. You need to protect them if you're putting in short codes into your content. I'm not going to bother going through any mad detail doing that tonight, but I've just thought I'd show you. Okay, so then I'm going to do one click rewrite. Mine should just jump straight to the rewritten content at the end, it will do. That depends on your settings. Mine's set up to just automatically rewrite everything. Get okay, we've got it all there. Because you're on this last page, you're okay to copy and paste that in. So, oh, sorry for moving up and down like that. So as you can see, I've just grabbed all the content. You can press Command and A on a um, on, a, on a Mac. I don't know how it works on a, on a PC. It's, I think right click and select all. Then we'll come back over to our website and create it. And we'll paste this in here. Okay, so we've now got absolutely loads of content from the industry already pre-done, spun. Okay, so we're happy that we don't need to start messing about and doing loads and loads and loads and more stuff in there. So I'm just going to click update on that. Okay, right. The, if, if the domain you've bought has got backlinks in it already, what you need to do is you want to 301 redirect those in. Okay, I'm not necessarily going to jump in and start going through that right now. I'm going to do that 
a little bit after we finish writing the content, but it is something that you really want to do. And it's something that's really, really simple. I think I showed it in a video two weeks ago, but if it didn't, I'm going to show it again tonight. All right. So the next step now is to consider we want backlinks coming in from here. Now we might want them coming in from every single page. We might not. That's totally up to you guys on how you rank your sites and how you do it. But I'm just going to show you the technique of how you do it. So that the backlinks that are coming in are dynamic so to speak so, so, so there's a lot of different ones so the first thing to do is you need to go and get a list of keywords okay so keywords you want to rank for i've prepared these earlier okay so what i would do is you go to a website called have we got it up here we have cool right this is in fact before i copy the keywords in plunk that into the comments as well and basically that's a website where you can put a list of keywords and it spin it for you. It's called uh, getspintext.net, spintax.net. It's free, don't charge you anything, it's cool. Right, then what I'll do is I'll go and grab my list of keywords and I'll place them in here like that. Yep, click, click create spin text. And what you can see is that's created spin text for all my keywords, auto electrician, auto locksmith. And you'll recognize these keywords from here. And from here, and if you go into the magic page, you'll recognize them from there. And there's one of those keywords on every single page inside here. And why are we doing that? See, this one's got all the content hidden, but it's in there. So what we're doing is we're staying on format or on, on form with it, so to speak. Right, then the next thing we're gonna do with these, we're gonna copy this out and we're gonna take it back over to the website we're working on. It might be easier if I can share, let me see if I can share my text editor with you to show you how we edit it inside there because let me just see if I can share that first one second, guys. I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay, can you guys see my text editor where I had my list of, of keywords? Just let me know if you can. We've got quite a lot on tonight, actually. So I'm going to let me know you can see that text editor. Yep, cool. Nice one, Dave. Right, so um, command and V, I'm going to paste that in straight away. Right, then what we're going to do here for our keywords, it's, it's pretty simple, pretty basic, but what you do is you then put a space at the end and you're going to put square bracket, location then you're going to come to the here you're going to add a pipe and then you're going to put oh you don't need a space there and anyway. you're going to have square bracket location you're going to put a space there again and you're going to paste in the keywords again then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the very far side and you're going to double up your squiggly brackets here and over here so what that's going to do now is that's going to go off and that's going to send dynamic backlinks for all of those keywords to the location and then location after the keywords, which is going to spin them from front to back. Then what I tend to do is grab that, copy it all, come down a little bit. If you want two links on the page, because you don't want identical backlinks twice on the same page, what you do is you take that auto electrician bit from there, back to, from there copy it delete it and paste it in after that bar there and then do the same over here so let's take the lost car key bit and paste that in after our electrician down there and what that's going to do this gives you a different variation but the same format so you can have two backlinks on the page now um, but obviously they both sh would show different ones with different keywords and I'll show you how to do both in, in a second right so you can see where my code is now I'm going to take these back um, how many keywords I recommend for each site it depends on your industry that Mike I mean I tend to I tend to go after about 15 I tend to go after about 15 but because I, I play I, I don't play the um, I'm not just going after the, the, the four or five major keywords for the top of the main city. I tend to go after about 15 on a page, but I like to use long content. I like to keep it like this. 
Um, I'd also stick in uh, backlinks that were non-relevant to this, and I also ex a backlink out to external websites, which I can show you later, um, which does help rank your sites. But what I tend to do is look for sites that have got the same URL structure as what can be followed with Magic Page Plugin. So when I show you this link now, you'll understand what I mean. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab that bit of content there. I'm going to bring it back over to the other screen now. I think it was that one. If you just let me know, you can see the Elementor page that we were on a minute ago. And you don't have to do this as separate text parts. I just like to keep them separate. I like it to keep the text blocks separate. So when you're working on them, it's a lot cleaner. Okay, so if everybody can see that now, what I've just put into, into Elementor. So that's where we're going to create our backlink now. That's our first backlink. So we're going to create that um, pointing at the Stockport site. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to the Stockport site and we're going to choose a single word location. Okay. And in that single word location, we're then gonna go up to the top and we're gonna copy the URL. All right, so we've fully copied the URL. We come back into where we are. What you're gonna do then is you're gonna highlight this whole thing. Oh, what the hell just happened there? Okay, we've highlighted the whole thing. Click on your little link here, your little link tab. And then what you do is you paste in the full URL, but you see where it says Portwood? We're going to delete Portwood. We're going to put in location. And then we're going to hit enter. I'm going to click update. And I'm going to go back over and I'm going to get the other keyword content that we did before. That's going to be a different keyword. And you can, you can use two different sites for the same location for this. You could be linking out to two different sites. I'm just doing it for simplicity to the same one for everybody. So you just can understand what I'm doing, right? Text editor, I'm gonna throw it in at the top up here. Right, this is the other set of text that we had. I'm gonna select it all. I'm gonna go back over to here, copy the URL again. I'm gonna bring that back over. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste that back into there. I'm gonna remove portwood again, if it lets me. Not letting me click now, one second. Let's shut that down a sec. What happened then? It froze up, won't let me do anything. And then you hit enter. I was going to add the back link and then you click update. Now, what I also like to do with these is go in and fill in the metadata and stuff like that. So that obviously the sites are not just absolutely terrible sites, which we do back on the page. So that page is pretty much ready now. That That's pretty much all I would do for a PBN. Um, other thing I would probably do is just come in somewhere and randomly put in the chart code, because obviously that, that creates our, our sitemap, it's our linking structure. So that city short code will create a sitemap. Obviously you can spin the short codes if you want and, and uh, the city short code if you want. So you've got different variations, different number of keyword, uh, different number of links on the page. Okay, and then next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and click this up arrow. I'm gonna click save as template. I'm gonna put MPP, call it whatever you want. MPP page, as you can see, I've done this plenty of times. So we're going to save that as a template and we've got it in there as MPP page. Okay, so now I can close that. I can click update. We can come back out of here. If I click view page, it's just going to look a total mess because we've not got MPP installed yet. So as you can see, there's all that spin text. There's all this, these backlinks that just link to absolutely nowhere. 
There's no city short code on there because we've not yet in, in, um, activated MPP. Right, so the, the next thing we, we then would do is we'd go into here and we'd add some metadata to the page. I'm not gonna go through that because you can see that on any video anywhere. Okay, so what I'm now gonna do, is click up here. I'm gonna go over to appearance, sorry, settings, reading. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make that a homepage of the website. Save changes. And the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure this site covers the same areas that this site covers. Um, so I know we, we did Stockport as an SK last week. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into add new magic page. Okay, okay. I'm going to publish that first of all. And as you can see, when you first come into the magic page, you can't use Elementor. Won't let you use it. Okay, and that, that's because what you have to do is you come over to Elementor. A few clients have asked me this, so I've purposely gone into the page first. If you come over to Elementor here and click on the settings tab, Yes, by the way, you, it'll make loads more sense in a minute when I start going through all, 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 all the pages. Okay, so then you click on the settings for Elementor. And we select both of those and click save. So I can see a few questions. How many PBNs do you tend to use? To be honest with you, Dave, you can use as many as you want, mate, just, just to the point where it starts working and getting your site ranking, but don't, don't be in a crazy rush for it to, to, to rank overnight. You put these up and wait a few weeks. Um, I tend to, with a major city site, will only tend to put point maybe three PBNs into each major city site initially, because then you've got your fourth tier and fifth tier, which is gonna, you can throw loads and loads and loads of crap at the, at the fifth tier. Um, but then if it needs more, you can always just add an additional one. If you want a ranking boost, you add an additional one, and then you add another two layers of, uh, of backlinks to the to the PBN, which is then gonna push the, the city site, and in turn is gonna push the major, uh, national site for you. Uh, yes, Valerie, we're linking back to that. I will catch replay connections. Okay, sorry, Lulu. I think it must be yours because nobody else has mentioned it tonight. I normally get my phone on the lights up if, it, if I've got a bad connection. Right, so we come into Elementor, we click on settings, we select magic page and I can select the bottom one. I don't even know what that is. I just select all four so it can be used everywhere. <clears throat> and then what you're gonna find when you come back into magic page now, um, and we click edit, edit with Elementor. So we can use the Elementor one on it. So these sites don't need to be absolutely brilliant, but same situation that we did before, we're gonna come down to the settings, we're gonna get the layout, we're gonna go Elementor Canvas, we're gonna click update. Then we're gonna come over to here. If everyone could see that where I was, waving over the file in the middle at the top, click on that making sure you guys have got my screen. Um, and then I'm gonna to go to my template because we just saved a template for this. There we go. So we're gonna insert that. Do you want to also import document settings? That's fine. Yep, we'll do that. It might actually go back to being small. No, it hasn't. Oh, what's it? Yes, it has. You see all that crap we've just got around the sides? And we go back in here, <clears throat> excuse me. Element of canvas and click update. Right, so this is your PBN site. There's not a lot needs doing in here now, pretty much nothing. So what we can do now is we can come back out to exit to dashboard. Cancel, it's asking me a question. Why? Let me update that again, just to be on the safe side. Okay, view page. Page looks as bad as the front page, as you can see. But as you can see, because we've got magic page now working, the spin text is starting to work, okay? Whereas on the home page, the spin text isn't working. And I will show you when we go to it now. Okay, that's not working. So to get that working on the home page, we need to go to magic page settings. You see here, disable for regular post types, click enable. And what will now happen, let's do that every three weeks. 
percent, 20%, 20% save settings. And then we go back to the home page, and as you can see, the spin text will now be working. All right, so that's all spun. The, 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 the content's now spun, and there's two backlinks in here. Ignition barrel replaced, pointing at the, the main site, locked out of car. That's because we did that little change, so now it's spun them differently. Right, so as you can see, there's no location on there now. So what we now want to do is go back into the magic page. And then we want to click edit and we want to go and oh in fact ignore me guys i don't think i've even installed any databases on this one so we'll go back over to here right did, did everybody see that what i just did sorry just so you know click on settings top right hand side there of this page is you click on that it takes you through to the databases We've just done one today, actually, that's got a drop down menu here because we've sold loads of uh, world licenses, loads and loads and loads of them. We're 17 site license. If anyone wants one of them, give me a shout and I can um, I can get that sorted for you. Um, but we've sold loads of world licenses. So we've now got a drop down that changes through them all, which will come in 4.5, I think it is. So we're, we're going for Stockport. So I know Stockport's in the, in the Northwest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on filters. I'm going to go into here and I know Stockport starts with SK. So zip code must contain default or starts with, if you read that, what's flashing up, it says starts with zip uh, and then it's got a little percentage sign. I think that's, yes, yeah, percentage sign. <laughs> I forgot what sign it is. And then it ends with percent zip. So, so basically I want stuff that starts with SK because SK percent and then I put a little comma in there. Yeah, and that'll make it accept it like that and then i click add filters if you look before there were 4071 locations now there's 226 locations i'm going to install them databases okay that's done and then we're going to come down here and click continue that's going to take us back to the settings page we were on before okay and then I'm going to update and save me settings again. I always update and save me settings. But the next thing you want to do with these, you don't want your PBNs to show that you've got Magic Page plugin on them. Okay, so, and don't forget you can clone these. So once you've done it once, it's not a problem. Go into Minify Footprint. Click there. Your folder is, is writable. Your WP content folder is writable. That means your folder pre uh, preferences is set to 777 permissions. You can read up there well, how to change it if it's not. But that's just the folders inside. And we're going to get rid of Magic Page. So we're going to put stock and lock and something like that. Save a minify footprint. And then I'm going to delete the spin text cache. Just on the safe side. As you can see, it's been minified now. So nobody can see that we've got magic page plugin on this website. Google can't see it. No, nobody praying eyes trying to look, saying, how's he building all these mass page sites? What's he using? They can't see that either. So it hides that you've got Magic Page plugin on here. So just on the safe side, if Google ever targets MPP sites, this is going to stop them finding them all because every single one has a different encrypted JavaScript file that does it for us. All right, we're going to go back into the Magic Page and set our central location. Okay, so we can choose any location from here to be the central location. I was going to use the Stockport, then I thought, you know what? So the Stockport, Great Moor, the Stockport there is SK1, Stepping Hill. But we can use any location here to make it look more realistic. So let's pretend that this is a Stepping Hill site, okay? That's going to pull in all 229 locations plus the home page. Click Update. Right, then what I would recommend people do with your PBNs is come down to the bottom here. 
don't need to start going crazy with schema and all this stuff, but with your PBNs, obviously putting your meta title, meta description, your social title and your social description, right? And you can spin them and use your, these other tools here if you want, that's totally up to you, but I just, I'm just mentioning that, that you should be doing. And then when we go back and view the magic page now, those links we had earlier, as you can see, the city short code is now pulled in, which takes you to all the pages within the website. Step in Hill Auto Locksmith. Click on that, and that's going to take us to the Step in Hill page. Ooh, it's brought us to the Stockport page. Um, I don't know why that's done that. One second. Oh, I've come into the wrong site now, aren't I? Oh, it's our central location. That's why. Okay, no sir. <laughs> You've got to be inside of one of the actual magic pages, not a page that you can't find inside the site. So when we go into here now and have a look at this, that should key locked in boot car, boot Offerton, Offerton car key replacement. And when we click on that, if you can see the very bottom of my screen there, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me have a look, can you? If you can see the very bottom of my screen, it's 24 hour locksmith stock put forward slash car hyphen locksmith forward slash Offerton. So I'll click on that and that should take us over to the Offerton page of this website with that backlink, with that keyword on this on the major city site and then that other one key, boot, key locked in boot. But then every page we go to, we should have two different links from the PBNs or electrician Davenport. So we click on Davenport, that should take us through to the Davenport page. And obviously you put them in H1s, H2s and in different places, sometimes behind images, but using that, that the way I've done it with the keywords, make sure that you, your keywords are completely diverse. And if you want to be, if you want to be even safer with these and you don't want a link from every single page, um, I don't see why you wouldn't, but if you didn't want a link from every single page, what you can do is you can actually, um, <clears throat> excuse me, you can actually create it with the percentage tool, which is you can actually wrap it inside of new random short code. And what we do is we'd wrap the code text inside of here. So you can select like that and the code will go here. And what's gonna happen if you paste it in there, but it'll actually show up down here, watch, I'll show you, sorry. Code will go in there and what will happen is random equals chance 63%. So, that will show on 63% of your pages and not on the rest of the pages if you add your link code inside of there. I'm not going to do that now because it's just a, a very basic, simple, easy thing to, to dynamically change it. So basically now we've set up a PBN site here, which will backlink out to all of our um, pages on the Stockport local site. Now it depends how you get your Stockport local site set up. If you've got 301 in there, sometimes double areas like this will link back to the homepage of the Stockport site. We're not in a double area, are we? Let me get on one. Woodmore car key replacement. That may take us to the home page. Right, that's because we've got a 301 redirect inside of the um inside of the Stockport Major City website. It's trying to go to the Great Moore site. Well, because that's not working, if that happens with your sites, you can come back in here. And we've created a new tag which is called slug. So what you then would do is go back to view magic page, edit with Elementor. I tend to do it the other way, but you can do this if, if you want to make sure it links to every single page. And then when you click highlight all of that and click on the link and is it not going to let me edit the link? Is it? Oh yeah, it is. There we go. And then B and then enter. And the same situation down here, you want to select it all, but you only want to put the, 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 the slug part inside of the URL. You don't want to add the slug part inside the, of, of the actual page itself, because you want that to show the correct writing. So we've updated that, and then we're going to go, this is dashboard, homepage. 
Norbury Moor. And now what should happen, it should pull in the slug now instead. So Norbury Moor car key replacement. If you look down below, you can see it's got a hyphen inside of the link, which means it won't redirect to the home page. What it will do is take us to the Norbury Moor page. So now all of those bat links are now pointing at that Stockport site. Next thing to do, just as a quick, um, just one second guys, let me turn my office light on. <laughs> it's gone dark. Where are I am? Um, so the next thing to do, just, just to make sure you're getting all the link inducing from, from the other site, is go into your plugins, click add new. I'm going to type in 301 and you want to look for the one that's got a 404 and a 301 picture on it, that one there. Click install. going to activate that I'm not going to bother updating that where you guys are on right and then if you click on this one if you just go into into your settings here what you're going to see is 301 redirect yep redirect URL and what it's going to pull in your home URL so it's going to send it to your home page you can send this to any page you want Okay, but then what you do is you click save and then what happens is if Google or anybody else follows the links that were already pointing into the expired domain from previously, it will automatically be redirected to the home page of this site itself. Um, if you want to 301 redirect those links into, I've never done this, but if you wanted to 301 redirect this into here, I'm assuming it would work. Paste that in there. Oh, it's only took that bit. Sorry, one sec. Go home. But if you wanted to redirect that into the home site, I'm assuming this would work. I haven't tested it, so I don't know. Could be talking rubbish, but I'm assuming that would work as well. And then, and then you're going to throw run redirect the link juice from the bat links from this back into your other site, into into your major city site. I'd probably avoid doing that, to be totally honest, because I don't know what the results would be. I've never tried it, but if somebody wants to test it, let me know. Well, you go in, you want the bat, you want the bat links from it previously, Mike. So, one second, guys. Let me get to the point where right. So, pretty much that is a PBN site, or pretty much created. Now you can pull this, if you spin this site lows, if you use spin text everywhere, not like I've done at the top up here, if you spin it all, what you can then do is you can go in, you can install all in one WP, um, what's it called, I forget it, I think it's, it's migrate, migration, all in one WP migration, and you can migrate the site to a clone and you can use it on multiple PBNs. So literally we've just spent how long creating this PBN site. The only other thing I would do is the metadata inside of the magic pages and everything else is pretty much ready to go. So you've got a half decent PBN site there that you can, that, that's gonna generate loads of backlinks. And then what's gonna happen is the backlinks that were already in there, the 301 redirect is gonna bring them into the home page of this. The home page, which links out to the 10 closest locations to the central location. Okay, so this is your home page. All your 301 redirect links are coming into it. That links out to the Stepping Hill page of as you can see, the home page has got a different link on it. So that will, I've, I've not done this look, I've actually left the thingy one in there. And then all of these link out to the pages, internal pages, so it passes all the link juice around. And then obviously when you get into the magic pages, they're linking to the internal pages of your major city website. Right, Val, before I start answering questions, guys, Val asked me before to just, just go through the linking structure with, with you guys. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm going to show you the five tier linking structure that I keep talking about in a mind node. That's cool for doing it, isn't it? One second. Right, let me see if I can share this with you. Just let me know if you can see that, guys. Let's make it a bit bigger so I can use it. Right now, I'm going to refer to, to to the top site as the major city site because that's the no the national site because that's the site we used. And a few of you just pop something in the box so I know that you can actually see my screen. 
you can see the mind node screen. It should just say mind node in the middle of it. built the first week this is the national site here okay now this is a 120 page website which covers all the major cities in the in in the uk yeah um then what we'd have underneath it is i just kind of knew it'd start sticking them to the top one second right so let's just do it with three. Oh, one sec right so then what we're going to have here is So basically, I'm going to pretend that we've not done 120 and we've just done three, simply because otherwise <laughs> I'll be here all day. Right, so basically what happens is you build your national your, your, your national website. So you've got your national oh, locksmith, plumber, roofer, solicitor, whatever it is you want. So only 120 pages, and it covers every single major city in the whole country. Um, I don't know if everyone's seen on the group yet, but we've got a population thing coming soon. So you can choose the actual size of the population that you want this to be. Then what we do is we build the major city websites, which is pretty much a clone of this because it's got the good content, it's respun, and then it becomes part of, um, you, you end up with Stockport site, Miami site, whatever the major cities in the area you're targeting goes for. Right, once you've started to backlink out to them, you then have a similar situation here, which is, This is the site we've just built today. What you end up with now is why I'm missing two out. So these are the PBNs we've just built today, right? So basically, I'll keep reiterating what we're doing so that everyone understands. So what's happening is you've got national site, major city websites. These are good quality, decent sites. This one and these. Then you've got PBN sites which we just built today. Don't need to be great quality, but you're looking for ones with backlinks and stuff like that. 301 redirect them in. Then let's just go to next week. This is what I'm going to take you through next week. Okay. I'm not going to fit it on the bloody page. I'm going to let me get rid of some of these. I'm going to use two guys because otherwise it's just not going to fit on the page at all. You just get what I'm saying, but you're going to do this with many more when you when you're creating it on a larger scale. Okay, and then from here is where you're now going to have S3. This is what I'm going to go through with you next week, how to use the dynamic backlink builder. Right? And, and don't think you can only use have two of these and you can have a, a load of these going into your PBNs and they're super simple and easy to create. Once I show you how to do it next week, you'll, be like, you'll all be setting up loads of free S3 drives, loads of them, because you can put like thousands of backlinks in, in really, really quickly, dynamically backlinked into all your pages and everything. And says that the thingy, the Amazon links. Okay, so tier one is your top site. Tier two is your major city sites. Tier three, you've then got your PVNs if you just created today, which are coming into all your different pages on your major cities. And you've got your S3 and your Amazon Drive, which we're going to create using the dynamic backlink builder inside of MPP. Let's get rid of that one now so we can fit the rest in. And then tier number five, which is going to come down here. Ooh. Okay, we're never gonna fit them all in, are we? You know what I'm talking about. You can see the way well, we're doing it with one major city, guys. Right. <laughs> right, so down here now, you've got NB Embed Network. Your robot. 
There's another one, I've never used it, so I can't really comment on that one. So I don't know, but I believe the links from it are actually better than Money Robots. Money Robots are crap, but you don't need good links for these. this tier five. A lot of people use these at tier three. So if you're doing what we're doing now, you're going way beyond what most people, most actual SEO guys are doing. Okay, so your backlinking structure now looks like this. You've got national website here that you're linking in from your major city sites into your national site. Then you created loads of PBNs, two, three, four PBNs underneath every single one. And they will then link into the pages on the major city site. Then you put your Amazon S3 and your drive, Amazon S3 and your drive, which are going to be then linking in. We'll go through that next week into your PBNs. And then you put your money. Um, that's Michael Bowles' embed network or money robot, whichever one you're using. It links into your drive. If Michael Bowles has got your niche included in his embed network, then you're probably going to get better results from that than you will from fresh money robot ones because you have to build them up over a period of time. Um, whereas he's got some really, really strong ones. Um, and that is the that's the that's the network that is literally. Let me get a copy of that because I can share that with anyone who asks for it now. Um, that is the linking structure. That is the the five tier linking structure which we're going to go through, which is going to enable you to create ranking and oh that one's gone now one second guys i'm just gonna pop this has anybody got any oh yeah questions um trying to do cool looking thing is each this week right i'm gonna <clears throat> Sin wire. I think I've got that, you know, as well, Charlie. I don't think I've used it that much, um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I have got it. Because um, he's got another one as well, hasn't he? So, sin, he's got loads of different ones, hasn't he? Um, right, guys, I'm just going to read through the questions I've not yet answered and then come up to the top. So how many PBNs do you tend to use per site, Dave? Uh, I think I explained that before. It depends on niche. Um, SEO is different for everybody, but basically, if, if you continue to build these, um over a period of time um, and and what we've done today is a complete build other than the metadata and the, and the description but if you can continue to build these you can clone these really really quickly onto expired domains and um, the way you clone them takes five minutes and you just change the central location and put and, and then add it into a different area and it's done so so you can clone these and reuse them and obviously you can grab content from the old sites you don't even need to use the same content you just go to the old website that I've shown you before, grab the content, spin it, stick it on the site, put your back links in, done. Next, 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 next. And it just runs like a conveyor belt. It's really, really easy. But don't go doing 150 of these to a website and then stopping. What you're better off doing is two and then go back in a couple of weeks and do two and get, do something consistently with your sites so that you, you, you've got a consistent flow of new PBNs going up with new backlinks and to the PBNs, you've got a consistent link of, of, of backlinks from, from like S3 and Drive and stuff like that going into them. And then obviously you start firing your money robot and stuff like that from, from the bottom upwards. And what you'll find is they will, um, your sites will start to, to just move up in all the SERPs everywhere. And all this, everybody's making it super, super complicated. The old way still does work, it really does still work. We do tests all the time and we can see it working all the time. I'm still generating thousands and thousands of calls every single month from organic rankings, from, from, from mass page websites. Loads of people's mass page sites have, have dropped simply because they're doing keyword times location, which Google's treating it as spam, which, which rightly so. You want long content, single page per location, and then you can have multiple locations on the central location of the website. So you have multiple pages the way we've done it with um, extremelocks.co.uk, I think it was called a couple of weeks back. Right, I will catch replay. Okay, we've gone through that. So let's say one main large site, then three city sites. How many PBM total about? Right, Mike, that's a good question, that mate. Um, I think I've just answered that one, but as as you can see, that that what you've got there, one large site, and then you've got your three major city sites pointing into it, then you have say two or three PBMs pointing in, into each major city. And then from, from below the, the PBNs, that's when you start doing your dynamic backlink builder, which we'll go through next week, and your money robot. Um, but literally, if you put up two or three, and then give it a few weeks and see what happens, and if it's not coming up, 
chuck a couple more in. That, 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 that is what SEO is. It literally, what an SEO guy will do is they'll diary your website on, your website to do two hours work a month on it. They'll charge you five, 600 quid a month uh, and, and they'll diary it on to do two hours work once a month on that. And they'll go in and they'll do exact, pretty much exactly what I've just shown you. But they'll probably be sending worse backlinks to your websites. They're probably sending much more crap. If you're doing it this way, you're going to get better results. And it's going to cost you pennies. You're talking, what, 15 quid for three domains. If you do three PBNs a month. Your dynamic backlink builder, which goes to Amazon S3 and Google Drive, they're completely free. They don't cost you anything to do. It's all included inside Magic Page Plugin. So you can do it really, really easy. Um, and then, then the Money Robot one, obviously, that costs you because you, you need a Money Robot account. But I think the only cost I've got involved with that, because I, I think you can buy it, for, I think it's about 500 quid for Money Robot. But the only cost I have involved with my Money Robot one is putting it onto um, a, what you call it, a server, one of their servers. It's about 26 quid a month. But you don't necessarily need that. You don't need to go five tiers deep. I'm, I'm really going to town with this so you just can understand exactly how to get these sites really, really ranking. If you follow what I'm telling you, these will rank really, really well. And if you're going after a solicitor's industry, it's going to be harder than if you're going after, I don't know, an electrician industry, or if you're going after someone who changes car tires, mobile, it depends what, what industry you're trying to hit. Okay, I've seen all of them. Mind map, national site. Uh, right, Bruce, what is this mind mapping software? <laughs> Uh, let me just check now, Bruce, one second. It's called Mind Node. <laughs> I've got a load, actually. I've got one called Scapple. I've got one called Doodle Desk. I've got one called X Diagrams. Awesome. I've got absolutely everything. I buy all sorts of stuff. Uh, mind mapping software. Right, screencast. Tim's done a screencast there. I don't know what that is. Let's have a scan. Oh, right. He's, he's, he's shared that link. Cool. He's shared the image. Nice one, Tim. Cheers. Right, so the city sites are expired domains. Right, you don't just have to use expired domains, Valerie. You can use new domains as well. Um, but no, the city sites, I tend to use new domains. I, I tend to go after a brand and I build it. Right, the problem with using expired domains, if you're going after setting up a national or a, a full state, say you're going after um, California and you want to take over an industry in California, you build a full, a full, a full site that covers all the major cities in California, so about 30 of them. Then you're going to do a major, a major city site for each one. If it's a real business setting this up, real businesses don't run around looking for expired domains. So you don't want to be running around looking. You put up new sites. They might take a little bit longer to rank, but you're going to be safer for longer because what you're going to do is exactly what a real business would do. So if you're going to call it, I don't know, Val's, Val's Security Services, and then, and then each of the major cities is going to be Val's Security Services, uh, Miami's not in California, is it? You get what I'm saying. Whatever major city it's called, uh, San Antonio, or I think that's that might be in Mexico. I don't know. Um, anyway, but you'd, you'd have Val Security Services, major city, Val Security Services, other major city, Val Security, and, 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 and you wouldn't, you do on that. I think, and then your PBNs is where you want to start pulling in your expired domains. Um, but you can use new domains. It just takes longer with newer domains to get that ranking. But then your dynamic backlinking next week, obviously, because you're getting backlinks that don't cost you anything for, for, from Amazon and Google, they do really, really work. I've been testing them on some national ranking sites and not doing anything other than S3 backlinks from PDFs. And I'm getting really good results. It's not something I can share my results because my locksmithing industry is still doing well. But I, I get a lot of, of negative SEO at the locksmith stuff. So the stuff I'm doing going forward, I'm tending to keep a little bit more under hat, unfortunately. Right, so if you have one national site, two city sites, you need nine domains, three city sites, you need 12. Uh, yeah, pretty much, Mike, but I mean, if you look at that, if you was gonna, if you, if you wanted to rank your own website, your national, your own national website, uh, one, one decent backlink would cost you $50 a month. $20 a month, you're gonna get an, an okay one. If, you, if you're spending, what, a tenner a year, so that's 12, so you sit, Sites, so you need to say 12 domains, that's going to cost you 120 quid a year. And, that, and that's going to take care of your, your ranking of your major sites. You might need more than that, but if, if you look at it, if you go after, if you pay an SEO guy, you're talking minimum 500 quid a month to rank one website. A decent guy, anyone who's 
anyone who's saying they're going to do it for a one or 200 a month, they're talking crap because they, can't, they really can't afford to spend the time on it for that sort of money. You're spending 500 quid and then if you go to someone who's going to set up all your social and do all the rest of that, then it's going to be even more expensive. Next webinar, right, tomorrow, actually, guys, and we haven't got many people on now, but what I did do before, because I've, I've, I've done two shares today, let me remove that spin rewriter one. <laughs> uh, tomorrow night's webinar, if anyone wants to come on it, it's it's not about... Um, next week, I'm going to do the one for the dynamic bat linking for, for, for all the uh, Magic Page plugin crowd. Now, I'll let you know on the group in the email anyway. Um, <clears throat> but... That what I've just shared with you, that's tomorrow night. That's basically a lot of people have got uh, Lead Simplify. We've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of users. And when I'm speaking to people, a lot of people aren't quite 100% sure how to use it. So they're using it to not a very good level. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to enable people to um, put me on the spot, basically. Uh, whoever's on the webinar, I'm going to ask what industry you want it to go for, whether it's legal industry, whether it's loans, whether it's something along those lines for lead generation. And I will build through during the webinar exactly what I do. If, if somebody came to me and said, right, Mike, I want to set up using Lead Simplify in this industry and we want to convert it into cash within a week, two weeks, three weeks, whatever. This is what we do. This this will be the full plan that I put set, set out for them. And I'll go through it and show you how I'd set it all up tomorrow. So it's really, really simple. It's really, really easy. As soon as people understand how it works and why it works, it's, it's so, so easy to do. Um, and if you're using paid traffic like AdWords or Facebook, then you, you can be making money with, with Lead Simplify in a couple of hours. <laughs> but people tend to not buy as quick, so, so they tend to, but yeah, you, you can really, you can have it up and running really, really quickly and, and make money really, really fast with it. And once you start making money, then it's just a case of testing, 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 because once you figure out um, okay, this is costing me 20 quid and I'm getting 40 quid back. You throw two grand and you get four grand back. You throw 20 grand and you get 40 grand back. Once you've got that analysis set up, you pay ads and you can do it. It's so, so easy to just scale really, really big, really fast. So that's what I want to do tomorrow night, but um, I'm going to be on the spot a little bit. So we'll see. Right, uh, uploaded. I had a call in the middle. Bruce, I will... I'll try and download it tonight, mate. It's getting a bit late here, but um, I'll try and download it tonight and then I'll upload it tomorrow. I think I've set up a replay to be... No, you don't want replays, these because you can't fast forward. Um, yeah, so, so, sometime tomorrow. I'll get, I'll get it uploaded sometime tomorrow. Right, well, I've, I use um, Heart Internet and Reseller Hosting. Not for me, really big, busy sites I don't. I use Linode and stuff like that for that. But I have, I have my, my developer that does all that it's super complicated um but i use heart internet reseller account the reason i do it is they've got about three or four hundred servers um there's multiple c names if you don't know what that is it's just something to do with your ip address the third the third number in is different and they've got multiple ip addresses throughout all the different uh, sites so you end up getting you can add up to 300 websites um and you end up getting loads of different ip addresses as long as you don't load them all at the same time Every single server that they put them on, it's got 32 gig of RAM. So what tends to happen on these real cell ones is loads of shite websites are all over it and your website ends up using up all the resources. I've had a couple of sites that they've contacted me and said, you need to shift this site now because it's getting too much traffic. But by then, you're making that much money from the site. You don't mind sticking it on its own, on its own server. <clears throat> How much is Lead Simplify and can you use Lead Simplify to get clients? Right, Lead Simplify is not to get clients, pal. Basically, what Lead Simplify does is if you're running a lead generation business, so if you've got, um, let's say you're in, 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 the, in the loans industry or something like that. Uh, in fact, Alex, but when I first built Lead Simplify, I was a locksmith and I was running around doing jobs, but I started getting that busy that I couldn't take on all the jobs myself. So what I started doing is I had a pen in my pocket all the time, a pad in my pocket, I had a terminal for taking card payments over the phone. I had a book with everyone who was taking jobs off me and where they covered written down. And I was constantly answering the phone, doing jobs, running around like a crazy man. It got to the point where I didn't end up having to do the jobs anymore. I, 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 I literally just had to pass these jobs out. And I wanted a system because it was taking over my life constantly 24 hours a day. I wanted a system where anyone could answer the phone and take the job and then it would automatically be submitted and sold on complete autopilot 
or automatically they could they could assign it to an engineer and I get paid a percentage when the job's finished without I need people to be able to do it. So what it does is it enables you to collect your lead information. So Magic Page plugin and Lead Simplify fit together perfect. It enables you to connect, collect your lead information, sort and distribute it on complete autopilot and then sell it without ever touching it. So the second the lead comes into your system, which is what I'll go through tomorrow night, it's sold within a couple of minutes and you never have to see it. So you've got a thousand leads coming in the day um, via form, or if you're doing it via phone, you, your phone operator just fills in the form. You can sell a thousand leads a day and not have to be there, not have to be involved, not have to be part of that self-made prison <laughs> that, that, that most small businesses are. Most businesses can't run without the person being there. I don't really have anything to do with any of my businesses because I always go down the route of trying to make it so that I'm not needed. Um, right, I'm just waiting for right. So, so I'll go through all that with you tomorrow. And if, if you want to jump on that, I'll, I've, I've got a special offer coming for Lead Simplify. So don't buy it. Uh, don't buy it on the site at the minute. So for a national build in the US, your structure look like, right, if I was doing a national build up in the US, uh, Charlie, you've got 300 major cities. So you're gonna, you're gonna do a, a, a one site for 300 cities, and then you're gonna want a major city site for every single one. So you've got a good few websites there. That's a huge, huge project. If I was you and I was going after that, what I'd probably do is build the, sites statewide just on the major cities for say somewhere like california where you're going to start making decent money quick build the major city sites and then add the major cities in each individual state as you grow so say you're coming down on the coast you'd want to go up um from above above california come down and then into arizona and texas and all them areas just grow gradual that way rather than building it all at once um but yeah you're gonna need a lot of sites if you're doing a national and if you do it right you're gonna make it fortune with it. Uh, how do you get your clients to purchase your leads? Um, lead to, <laughs> we're going to lead to the line now, aren't we? Um, how do I get clients to purchase leads? There's loads of different methods. Um, one we find that works really well is you send, we set, we, it depends what type of industry you're in as well. If I'm going after somebody who's a professional, I know they're going to answer an email. Then what I'll do is I'll send them an email out saying, uh, we're, we're, we're specialists. It, the key with lead simplify is you've got to target people. You've got to become a specialist. Don't just jump in and say, we sell leads to plumbers or we sell leads to solicitors because nobody's interested in, in another home advisor or another thing that's going to turn up and say, this is what we do. This is how it's done. You, you need to be able to say to these guys, we're a specialist in this area. So if you're going after um, the loan industry, you go after auto loans, for example, or you go after... Um, Outlook student loans, I think I did a video about the other day. You set up in the student loans industry and then you send out an email to every single loan company, except for one, uh, one of the top ones. And what you do is you say, right, we've looked in your industry and, 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 and we're specialists in this. We want to work with somebody, find out exactly what you want, what you need and what, you, what you're looking for. Uh, we was looking at you and we've also been looking at X company, which is their biggest competitor because of the quality um of both of your companies so you're giving them kind of a, a pat on the back saying you're awesome and they're and they're looking at thinking wow they think we're as good as them they want to work with you then what you do is after they've signed up with you and they've come onto the system you then contact them and you speak to them and you say look this is what we specialize in but we specialize on a client by client basis we want to know exactly what you want to ask these customers and you sit down and you go for exactly what they want what questions need to be answered? What what and, and you build a best book package with them. And once your package is perfect the way they want it, then you're answering asking all the right questions. You've got the best quality leads in that industry. And then and then as soon as you've got that, you can send out emails to everybody. <laughs> Just show them an example. And, and and from there, everybody wants to work with you because you're selling good. Because everyone in the lead generation industry sells crap. And what Lead Simplify enables you to do is automate the process of selling really, really good quality leads. And then price doesn't become a factor anymore because you can sell them more expensive than everyone else because you're selling better quality leads. I hope that makes sense. I'll show you all tomorrow anyway how that all works. But if you're on tomorrow, Val, I'll go through it all proper. Right. Um, <clears throat> where do we get initial con? Right. Um, I've, I've the initial content. Sorry, Sean's asked where do I get the initial content for the pages. Sean, um, I've I use loads and loads and loads of different writers. I've just ordered a load of of content from a load of different people. Um, I've gone to. I don't know, about 10, about 10 recommended people. And what I'm going to do is I've got all the content coming in this week. I'm going to go through everybody's content that they send me and I'm going to find the best person. And I've, I've created a website and I'm going to put that person on the website 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to share it inside the group and then you're going to be able to buy from them direct through that website so that you know who the best content person is. Uh, because I know Fiverr, you're getting loads of crap. Everyone's just doing the same spawn crap and it's just not very good. So I've gone to a lot of different people, bought the content, and then once that site goes live, um, anybody knows that they can go and order it, but it's probably going to need more than one person <laughs> who does sell the content, but I'm going to start with whoever's the best, and then once they get overworked, I'll add a couple of other people to the site. <clears throat> right, that's the initial content, and you are selling only phone calls, right? Uh, no, I, I don't... Nearly everything that comes into us goes through leads. We've got some phone call stuff that people buy phone calls off us, but you don't, to, to sell the phone calls, you, you, you don't need Lead Simplify if you're only selling phone calls, simply because you can just send the phone call straight to the person. But then you've got the problem of being able to, to figure out exactly where they are and send it to the right person instantly. The, the, the thing with Lead Simplify is if a phone call comes in, the way we do it is we have, we find out exactly what the people want, then we'll have a phone call that comes into us, and then what we'll do is our telesales operator will fill in the form with the customer's information and say, someone's gonna call you back shortly, we'll get this sorted for you, boom, they put the form down, they click submit on the form, and the form then goes off because it's got all the information, the location, county, region, all that stuff, uh, the type of industry, who covers what, and it sends it to the right person, so, so the person, or the right people, should I say, who cover exactly what it is you want to get covered, uh, what they want. So they're receiving top quality leads every single time. They're not receiving five crap leads that are not relevant or five phone calls that are crap that are not relevant. They're receiving all top quality leads every single time for their industry. And they just have to click a button to buy it inside the system. So they can literally, as soon as it comes in, press a button, bam, you've got a lead and it's done. And, and the system enables you to <clears throat> sell to one, two, three, five, seven people. So it depends on what industry you're going after. If it's a quotations they're after, you can sell calls, but you can sell them cheaper. If there's one architect that wants just this type of building and just this type of area and you're selling him the only, only leads that are coming in, then you're going to be charging decent money for those leads because he's the only person that's getting them. The, the form's been created exactly to his specifications that he's asking for. Um, so, so, so it's all about trying to build the quality around the leads. Um, a lot of lead companies that I speak to are, are just constantly trying to sell, 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 sell because they sell shit. <laughs> Sorry for swearing, but they sell absolute crap. So they get these guys on the hook. They sell them 10 leads and they never want to see them again. And if you can do it from the opposite end where you sell a good quality, they're going to tell the mates and your business is going to grow, but it's, it's harder to get started that way. Lead Simplify makes that very, very easy. Um, I'll go through that tomorrow, guys, with the Lead Simplify. Anybody got any questions about MPP? <laughs> if not, um, <clears throat> I will either see you guys tomorrow or next week on the webinar where we're going to do the dynamic backlink builder and go through, obviously, setting up links from Amazon S3 and Google Drive and exporting, if you want as well, you can export from an existing website with your dynamic backlinks included inside straight to um, a, an expired domain. But I, I, I tend to just build them the way we've done it tonight, but you can actually do that as well now with MPP. Okay, guys, anyone got any more questions about tonight or anyone want me to run through anything? Somebody asked me a question earlier and I said I'd do it, but they're obviously not on because I can't remember what it was they asked me to do. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the webinar. Thank you, everybody that's still on now. You've been on nearly 90 minutes. And I'll get the replay up ASAP and speak to you all hopefully tomorrow, if not next week, or on the group during the week. All right, guys, thank you very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.